Thoroughbred Breeders Association is a charity and also a trade association. We're representing 3,500 breeders in this country with a membership of 2,200. Um, we represent their interest wide ranging, uh, looking at the, the very basics like the way they look after their stud farms, veterinary research, education and training for them and their employees to a range of issues, maybe their taxation, their uh, pasture management, a wide, wide range of interests. Today is one of our many regional meetings. Uh, the TBA has eight regions and uh, it's customary that each one of those meets uh, with its members once a year. We've been to Ollie Stevens this morning. We've seen two very, very exciting lots work for a very, very up and coming trainer who's got some wonderful horses there. These were freely available for us to view and very welcoming staff and, and Ollie himself showed us everything that went on at the yard, all the facilities. We're now looking around Normandy Stud, which is probably one of the biggest studs we have in the area. I think it's important that people come, we all see what we're doing, we all learn from what we're doing, we can all grow together. It's almost like a trade union in a sense and we can all help one another. And then just the social aspect, you know, at lunch, having an informal chat, everybody wants to share information and everybody's got wonderful old stories to tell and uh, it's just a treat and you can come one year and somebody feels they're struggling and the next year they've bred a classic winner and that's what's just wonderful about it. I think it gives hope to everybody and it's justification for what we all do and what we love. The British Thoroughbred has been with us for years. We've got world um, renowned for our production and it's very important that somebody is the custodian of that. Um, and having been formed nearly 100 years ago, um, we're carrying on that tradition. When you have a parade like this, just before this, uh, a major sale starts, it's a great opportunity for breeders to see 13, 14 stallions all in the one place. And if the TBA didn't do it, who would be putting it on? Um, the TBA are here to represent the interests of breeders you probably had 400 breeders in there looking at stallions, so it's ideal. We're terribly nosy in this industry. We all want to have a look at other people's stallions and, and everybody wants to see what's, what's new. So um, people will always um, come and have a look. So no, I couldn't say more about the parade and I hope it keeps going. We have obviously a, a wide range of um, initiatives underway at the moment um, and under that a banner comes marketing and promotion of the breed. Uh, racing fillies is obviously very important. The fillies generally don't make the same amount of money at the sales as, as the colts and therefore it's important to provide a programme of races to incentivise people to buy those fillies. I think any race sponsorship is significant whatever form it comes in and um, whether that's from the TBA or a, or a more commercial sponsor. But not only that, the, the direction of the support being Phillies races is quite significant to us. A, a, because I've got a lot of Phillies, but B, opportunities for Phillies to run against their own sex is, is, is something that needs to be supported more. The Thoroughbred Breeders Association is responsible for the wide range of breeders in this country um, and it's important to bring those together to have one voice when we go to lobby either government or, or British racing. The TBA gives a small breeder particularly the voice onto the TBA Council via the regional representatives who are always available. It gives a small breed a chance to actually air their views and to express an opinion on what goes on and they don't feel that they're being left behind. I've been a TBA member for about um, just between 15 or 20 years. It's been a fountain of wisdom whenever you need it in terms of the expertise of the office. And also, obviously, they do so much for the breed that I think goes unrecognised and for the British breeder who is facing harder times. I think it's vital to be a member of the TBA if you're in this industry. I think they're at the forefront of what's really happening. And in my case, where I'm a small, smallish breeder, I have 10 mares, um, it's very important to have that access and give you that impartiality on the industry. Um, otherwise, you might not necessarily hear uh, what you need to know in order to make the right decisions. All breeders dream. We dream that maybe the horses are going to make it. What are we going to have? Is she going to win the Oaks? Is he going to win the Derby? That's what keeps us going. Being part of the TBA has been hugely important. It has helped me learn more about the industry. You have to experience it. And for a very small taste of fee, um, in a sense, you experience something that I would imagine very few people want to give up on. We've actually got a very, very strong group of people who all love to share their views with you on, on thoroughbred racing.
Um, there's a great future for thoroughbred breeding in this country. We just need to make sure that as custodians of that, um, we get the best results. Thank you.